good morning guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing well i am like in complete baby mode trying to get ready for the baby i'm super anxious and i just feel like there's so much that needs to get done and not enough time i feel like the time is just flying by the months are just flying by the weeks are flying by and i'm like just a little anxious and like i just want to get everything done so fast before i get bigger and bigger and it's kind of driving me a little crazy but I'll be okay. Um, today we're actually doing some rearranging. Well, we've been doing it for like a couple days, but today we're doing a lot more stuff. Um, this house is getting too crowded and we're hoping to move really soon to our forever home. But for now, we just gotta make some space with what we have and it's just extremely crowded. Bryson has so many toys for his like ch YouTube channel and just toys in general that we got for him like on holidays and birthdays and stuff like that and it's just insane how much space like all these toys take up i'm um, actually upstairs we have an extra bedroom upstairs that we've been using as his like toy playroom but it's really difficult because a lot of the toys don't fit in here because it's a really small room and we don't spend much time up here so he doesn't really get to play with them much so we thought it would be a better idea to move his playroom downstairs there's a bigger area where all his toys will fit comfortably and then we can have this extra room upstairs for like a bedroom an extra bedroom space and i just think that would be so much better and he could just have all his toys downstairs um, sometimes he wants to play with things that are up here and we have to come all the way up here just to grab them and because I have to like do stuff downstairs so it's just it will just be so much easier to just have all this stuff downstairs so I'm currently up here uh, we just finished moving he has a playhouse we just finished breaking that playhouse down bringing it downstairs rebuilding it downstairs because it's too wide it wouldn't fit down the stairs and through the doorway so we had to break it apart build it up again it was like such a hassle and we were missing the part it's a tykes playhouse we were missing the tykes part to build like to break it apart and build it back together so i had to order parts from tykes just for that one piece because they don't sell it anywhere else i'm like are you kidding me i had to pay 30 dollars for the complete parts set for the entire house just for one little piece that's kind of ridiculous but anyways we got it done the house is downstairs now and it's staying there until we move i'm not moving it again i'm not breaking it apart again it's staying down there so yeah so this is the room that I'm in right now. It's Bryson's like play area and it's pretty tight in here. There were, the house took up like half the space. Cause if you're familiar with Little Tykes um, playhouses, they're pretty big. It took up like all this space right here and it didn't leave much space for anything else. So we're bringing all these toys down. He has all these toys. There's a closet here. There's toys in there too. Then we have this desk, we'll bring that downstairs too. So we're just gonna clear out this whole entire room. Bring all these toys down. He has way more toys over here. And in this room over here, this is our attic. It's filled, filled with toys, boxes and boxes of toys. It's ridiculous. And so yeah, we're just doing that today. I'm just really stressed out. There's a bedroom downstairs that we're gonna turn into like for the nursery. And just until we move, you know, um, this isn't our forever home. You know, we've been here for about seven years, going on eight years, and it's just time for us to move on. We need something bigger, you know, our family's growing, so we definitely need something larger than what we have now. And um, we're definitely looking to move out of state. We don't want to stay in the same state forever. You know, we want to branch off and we want to raise our kids in a different place, a different environment. And we're just 
we're just hoping that that happens very soon because it's overdue and we're just so ready to go and start fresh and just start new so you guys are going to be coming along on that journey with us so we're really really excited that we're doing this but yeah so bryson and david are downstairs right now they're playing they're really excited that the house is down there and that all the toys are going down there so they could just play all day down there so I wanted to do this video just to give you guys like an update on the baby's gender. Um, so since day one, like the way I've been feeling, my mom, myself, David, we all have been convinced that I'm having a girl because the way I'm feeling with this pregnancy, I did not feel this way at all with Bryson. Like I've been extremely sick since day one nauseous morning sickness extremely tired um fatigue like everything is just totally totally completely 100 percent opposite with bryson i was fully awake i was fully energized i did not have morning sickness at all i did not throw up not once i was able to eat things now it's so hard for me to eat find something that i really want to eat without it making me sick i'm so sensitive to certain smells it's just so different so we've been really convinced that we're having a girl and we've been really happy about that because we definitely want to have another we definitely want to have a girl since we already have bryson but Either way, whatever gender it is, we'll be happy with it. But it's been a little frustrating because, okay, I ended up taking, my doctor ended up um, sending me to um, get some blood work done. I don't remember the name of the test. I'll, I'll list it in the description once I, like, look it up but i don't remember the name um so they ended up taking out blood i didn't get this done with bryson i had to wait till my ultrasound when i was pregnant with bryson to find out that he was a boy so i didn't i never did this test before um so yeah they test to see the, uh, the chromosomes and to see if the baby has down syndrome they check the dna in my blood and then they find out if the baby is a boy and i'm not sure how accurate this test is um but they ended up calling me giving me my results and the woman on the phone said that i'm having a boy and i'm just like so shocked i can't believe it i'm like are you serious because i just was not expecting this at all and i was just like really a boy no way i wish i would have recorded but she called me randomly i didn't know when she was gonna call me and she gave me the results right over the phone but um yeah so it's kind of surprising i wasn't expecting that david wasn't expecting that we weren't expecting it to be a boy and so i get off the phone and i tell david okay so we're having a boy we're like really like we can't believe it we're like okay so we're having a boy then I go to my doctor's appointment and I have an ultrasound and the doctor says that she doesn't see a boy part. She doesn't see any boy parts in the ultrasound. So we're like, what does this mean? Like, we're so confused. Like, is this test DNA test accurate? Is it coming up like is it not as accurate as we think it is or is the baby just hiding its boy parts like we don't know so it's just so frustrating i don't know if anyone has ever gone through this before like did you take the dna test the blood test and it said you're having one gender but then you go to an ultrasound and it says you're having another gender like let me know because this is just really confusing i'm like what because when i went for my ultrasound with bryson they saw it right away. They knew that it was a boy right away. Like, yeah, you're having a boy. And that was it. I never took this test before. So this is just all new to me. And I'm really confused and frustrated. Like, I want to know for sure what I'm having. I don't want to be surprised. I just want to know, is it a boy? Is it a girl? Just let me know. So now I have to wait a couple more weeks, like three more weeks. And 
she says they'll be able to tell me for sure if I'm having a boy or a girl because a couple weeks makes a huge difference. So now we have to wait. I'm just a little frustrated. I feel like I've been waiting forever. I just want to know like, oh my God, this is so frustrating. Like it's killing me. It's killing me. I just want to know, is it a boy or is it a girl? Please just let me know. So I'm really hoping that in a couple weeks, they'll be able to tell me. I have a feeling if the blood test said it was a boy, it has to be a boy. Maybe the ultrasound, he was just hiding or I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Once we find out, we will let you guys know, but comment down below, let me know if you, have you ever heard of this happening to anyone? Has this ever happened to you? Like, cause this is just really weird to me. But we're gonna go downstairs and see what David and Bryson are up to. I hope they didn't make a complete mess downstairs cause that's what they usually do. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. What are you guys doing? We're having a Toy Story 4 battle right now. Oh yeah? Yeah, exciting, <laughs> right? What's up, family? Yeah. So I just finished telling them the whole gender situation. Oh, God. With not knowing if we're having a boy or a girl. Frustrating, guys. Annoying, too, man. Because we already want to find out what we're having. Yeah. And you it's know? just weird how I was telling them how the blood test said a boy. But when we I went to the ultrasound, she said she couldn't see no boy parts. Yeah, like if it was a boy she would have seen the boy parts exactly, by now exactly i'm further along where you would be able to see the boy parts so it's just kind of confusing exactly man so i mean i have a strong well let's let, let's be clear i don't care what we have as long as the baby is healthy yeah me too um i don't know it's, it's up in the air right now if it's a boy or girl i don't know maybe the baby is hiding that's what i said upstairs yeah and doesn't want us to to see right away <laughs> want us to be surprised when he or she gets here um i don't know it's just it's, just, it's i don't know it's like it's hmm. i'm trying to think of the word i don't um, know it's confusing yeah but i mean I'm anxious. There yeah, we, that's what I said too. I'm anxious. I'm that's why. I'm anxious. We're so. both anxious and we just want to know. That's exactly, man. So. Bri, do you think we're having a boy or a girl? A girl. <laughs> yeah, that's what we think we're having. A girl. You want a girl? You want a little sister? Hmm. Yeah, me want a boy too. You. <laughs> Twins. <laughs> You want a boy and a girl? Yeah. That's three. Triplets. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Ooh. You're on your own there, buddy. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, you want my yeah, baby. Oh, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah you yeah. going to help me take care of them? Yep. Okay. Play and everything, right? Yeah, they're going to take all my toys. It's like we're building our football team. They're going right? to take all your toys? Yeah. It's so cute. Yeah, I'm gonna catch them. Yeah, guys, man, we just, you know, we're, we're just anxious to find out for yeah. sure. Yeah, we're anxious for sure, and you know, we're exciting, excited, and happy at the same time because, like, this is, oh man, this is overwhelming already, guys. Yeah. So I don't know, man. We just we're we're anticipating waiting for everything to happen to everything to unfold man so. yeah so in a couple weeks we'll find out for sure if we're having a boy or a girl and we're really anxious and excited and once we find out we will let you guys know right. comment down below let us know do you think i'm having a girl or a boy what do you think and also let us know if you know anybody that has gone through this like did they take the test and it said one gender and then they went for an ultrasound and it said another gender let us know because we want to know we can't be the only ones that have gone through this yeah because we want to we want to hear other people's stories too if they ever experience it yeah so it'll be it'll shed some light on our situation make it a little bit 
at ease for us right now. Yeah. So, yeah. So let us know in the comments, guys. But well, we just wanted to give you guys a little update um, on everything that's going on. You know, we're just preparing for the baby. Mm -hmm. We're getting ready and getting the house together mm -hmm. and you know buying all the stuff that we need because like i said earlier the time is just flying by the months are going by and he or she will be here in a blink of an eye so we're just trying to be as prepared as possible um but stay tuned we're gonna be having a lot of new content on this channel we're gonna start doing some challenges on this channel we're not just gonna be doing pregnancy vlogs we're gonna do different stuff on here you know a lot like our give us some video um, suggestions guys yeah give us some video suggestions you know um you can comment down below you can dm us on instagram we we still have our social medias in the description so you can follow us if you haven't already but you know we're gonna be back to our normal routine just like before um all the content that we've had on our other channel you know we're gonna bring that onto this channel and it's just gonna be really fun and exciting so stay tuned for all of that thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye guys bye guys